Hello and welcome to Polycosm. My name is Christina and today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'll be taking you through the speed sculpt of the jellyfish that's supposed to be in the jelly fire container on the side. As you can see on my mood board, my main inspiration was real world jellyfishes mixed with some concept art. I didn't pre-plan the design, but kind of winged it since Omerjan will be painting over my render anyway. So my main goal was to just create a basic base mesh. Starting off, I added in a cube, added a subdivision modifier and started extruding some faces in order to get an interesting silhouette base. I wanted to get a sort of pointy cone-like shape for the hood, like the reference, and have it flail more out towards the bottom. Using this method is a very effective way of creating silhouette bases quickly. I could start off with a ball of clay and start shaping it, but I find this method gives you a lot more control and you can be a bit more conscious about your polygon distribution. really done that many organic sculpts before so doing this kind of jellyfish design was very new to me so please don't be harsh I am still learning guys okay <laughs> decided to delete half of the mesh and use the mirror modifier in order to keep some symmetry and reduce the amount of time spent on the sculpt. Using radial symmetry, I masked off the bottom portion of the jellyfish, inverted the selection, and with DynaMesh turned on, I extruded some oral arms. Yes, I actually googled this in order to find the right term. Now here comes the exciting part. Okay, so Pablo Dubarro, a Blender developer, has created this new sculpt brush called Cloth Brush, and oh my god, is it awesome. The way it works is that it applies actual cloth simulation physics while you're sculpting. How freaking awesome is that? The brush is currently in alpha production, so it's not a proper beta tool, but you can download the latest experimental build and it will have it there. I'll be making a proper quick tip video on how to use it very soon, so keep a lookout for that. Anyway, so back to the sculpt. Using the cloth brush, I chose expand as the deformation tool and created a cool crinkly effect on the oral arms. This would have been so much more time extensive if I had sculpted all of this manually, so thank you, Pablo. I also wanted to include this inner part of the jellyfish, like an extension of the hood. Remember, this is an alien life form, so I tried to create something a bit more interesting than the average jellyfish. like the way these folds or flaps looked so I tried replicating this in the mesh and once I kind of had one copy I just copied it around tried flipping it over sizing it up and down just seeing if I could kind of use this shape in like other parts of the mesh mm -hmm. 
During all of this, I kind of regretted the way I extruded some of the tentacle arms. I thought they all kind of looked a bit too symmetrical, so I tried kind of breaking up the symmetry and making some of the arms kind of extend out a bit more. Also using the pose brush in sculpt mode, I was able to kind of bend some of the arms quite quickly and easy without breaking any of the geometry. Here I tried replicating the oral arms and sizing them down for added detail but it just made the jellyfish way too busy so I decided to drop that idea. That's kind of the great thing about 3D though, like you can just totally copy and paste, move things around, see if it adds to your design and if it doesn't, well no worries, it took what a few minutes to just kind of test that out. Being very new to the cloth brush as it just came out, I decided to try all of the different types of deformations in order to see what kind of interesting results I could get. And with radial symmetry turned on, I tried out a bunch of ideas and really liked this wrinkly effect I got at the top part of the hood. It gave me a proper alien feeling, if that makes sense. I had such fun playing around with this cloth brush, but I tried not to overdo it and go overboard with detail because I knew Om John was gonna take over and I wanted to give him enough creative freedom, but it was very difficult holding back though. <laughs> At this point in time, I noticed my jellyfish looked a bit lopsided, so I used Symmetrize in the brush properties under the Symmetry tab and made the jellyfish look a bit more symmetrical. But upon doing this, some tentacles got merged, so I had to separate them and kind of rebuild them, which was a bit unfortunate, but oh well. Honestly, for most of the sculpt, I just use the cloth brush. It's just, it's so useful and it has so many different applications, especially since it has so many different deformation modes. So you can grab, you can pinch, you can push, you can pull. It's, oh, it's amazing. Now on to the flappy bits. Hopefully that isn't taken out of context. <laughs> Using the cloth brush, I sculpted in some nice folds. Seeing how the brush runs a simulation while using it, you might not get the result you're expecting. So it's all about just trial and error, seeing what works and what doesn't work. Here I had to make sure the flappy bits at the top weren't interfering or overlapping with the oral arms. 
I tried copying this part around and seeing if it could add to the design, but again, it was just a bit too much. So I deleted this part and decided to move on to the final design. Now for some tentacle fun. Using the curve add-on, link in the description, I added in some strands which are fully editable and copied them around. I tried to break some of that symmetry as I didn't want the overall design to appear too symmetrical. done. It's not the most exciting sculpt in the world, but I'm 100% sure Omerjan will do a great job at making this look awesome in the final render. I'm still learning to sculpt as I'm still very much a beginner, but I am looking forward to practicing more in all of the videos to come. Thanks for watching guys! The next episode of concept creation will be very exciting because we're gonna do creature design! If that sounds exciting to you, make sure to subscribe. Bye.